Sorry, what'd you say? Andrew! I'm in Hartfield and Company, finally! Yeah. You know, if we're gonna uh, do shots, we just, I can't do it with a mask on. Are we, are we safely six feet apart? Six feet, man. All right, good, good, good. Oh, I can breathe. <laughs> well, we found Hartfield and Company here in Paris. Andrew, it is good to see you, my friend, Thanks, and learn a little bit about what, uh, what all you guys have been doing. We're, I mean, we're in Bourbon County. We are. That was kind of the idea, really, more than anything. We wanted to bring Bourbon back to Bourbon County. So we started in 2014. Uh, it had been 95 years since anyone had made bourbon in Bourbon County, and we're very careful about this part legally. Um, we work with uh, smaller barrels mostly, again, just to be able to help tailor our d uh, distillation process to be able to work with the influence that small barrels can have. And what is so, it? How does that make a difference? Because that's something we sure. haven't talked about. There's a drastic difference between the surface area uh, inside the barrel versus the liquid that goes in. Okay. So there's a whole lot more influence from the wood per gallon than a big 53 gallon barrel. Now combine that with our difference in starting point for the distillation. This white whiskey is already smooth and has tons of character and body to it. So what we're putting into these barrels already tastes great. We're not expecting the barrel to fix the flaws of a much higher proof distillation. So naturally it can work quicker. All right, so we're rolling along here. We've got our special craft five gallon barrels here, cranking out good stuff. People are coming in, they're visiting, they're trying, they're tasting, they're buying. Next thing you know, COVID-19. Right. Uh, to be totally honest, we go from uh, you know, a, a meeting, trying to figure out how we're gonna make it through, uh, to my wife having an idea about doing some bourbon scented hand sanitizer. Bourbon scented yeah. hand sanitizer. Yeah. That is fantastic. So if you want to smell, oh. this is. Um, oh, <laughs> it's like a tiny shot of healthiness. Just don't drink it. Yeah, it's tempting. It yeah. does. In the span of about a week, learned how to make hand sanitizer, started making hand sanitizer, and started filling bottles. We've got to see how this works. <laughs> I mean. All right, let's uh, let's go find some more yeah. about that. Cool. That's bourbon scented. Amazing. All right, so we learned a little bit of the history of Hartfield and Company and why they're here, where they came from, and what they normally are making. Now we're gonna find out about some special stuff they're making from Jeremy here, and it's not potable. Jeremy, tell me what's going on behind us over here. Yeah, so uh, we've been making a ton of hand sanitizer over the last uh, couple months since March. Um, it's a little bit of a detour for us, but it makes sense because we put alcohol in it. It does have alcohol. You all make some alcohol. And yeah, we uh, you had bit. some stuff you needed to do something with, right? You know, ethanol or ethyl alcohol is one of the main ingredients in hand sanitizer. That's what comes off of the still before we put it into a, a, a barrel. Um, and, and obviously the mash bill is a little bit different for bourbon or for some of the other, other beverages we make, but uh, you know, it's essentially the same stuff. Al alcohol kills germs and uh, the coronavirus. So we're actually standing in what used to be our craft cocktail bar. Uh, so we converted this whole space in, into a, a hand sanitizer factory. And so, yeah, that, that big tank you're seeing back there, that's a 1500 gallon tank. Uh, it's just easier for us to make the sanitizer and put it up there that feeds the bottling machines, bottling, labeling, and then we box it and then out the door. Now, do you all provide anything locally to any local businesses or hospitals or groups or donations and nonprofits, anything like that yeah, that you want to talk about? Absolutely. We're, you know, I grew up here in Bourbon County. Uh, Andrew and I, you know, have been a part of this community our whole lives. And, uh, and so that's been one of the, you know, best parts of this is being able to give back to the community. Uh, and, and so we've been donating nursing homes and hospitals and, and businesses around for sure. And so we also have a lot of people from the community that support us and have come to, you know, just buy a bottle of sanitizer. Now I was talking about the bourbon. Are you talking about <laughs> sanitizer donating? Yeah, no, yeah, free bourbon. Uh, just come on down. <laughs> free bourbon with every bottle of sanitizer right. you purchase. Come on. Well, man, Jeremy, this is awesome. Like, yeah. it's so cool to see success story where you've taken literally, you know, lim <laughs> lemons and made lemonade. <laughs> bourbon and made hand sanitizer. Our plan is just to continue to sell sanitizer and, and provide, fill, fill in for the, uh, the demand that's been created by the, by the coronavirus. Absolutely. 
That's what it's all about. Yeah. That, people, is the American dream <laughs> right here in Kentucky on Downstream. This has been fun. Yeah, man. Good talking. Be good. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Absolutely. And until next time, we'll see you downstream. downstream.